Good morning. Good morning from Hollywood Studios. Yes, it's a beautiful day today. We're excited to be here. We have reservations at the Sci-Fi Diner today, so we're pretty excited to get in there and check it out and share it with you guys. This is one restaurant that we have not been to because every time we try to reserve it, it's no not available. And today, for whatever reason, I it was like a last minute thing. We were looking for a place to eat yeah. and it was available. They had like more than one time spot. I know, slot. You, you said it, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Let's yeah, do exactly. It. <laughs> I know. So that that tells me that the park is not, gonna is not looking busy. like it's going to be very busy today. No, yeah. we checked the wait times right now, and so far so good. So hopefully you'll we'll also be able to do some rides, and we're looking to check out the cavalcade today as well. So we haven't seen that in a while. It's a random thing, so yeah. it's really hard to catch. So there's only so much waiting around we can do, yeah. you know. <laughs> but we're hoping we can catch it today for you guys. Yes. Going to check out some merch. Yep. And I think we need to start the day off with a cup of coffee. What do All you think? right. Yeah, that sounds good. That always That's sounds good. It's a hard good. sell right yeah. there, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So here are some of the wait times here today at Hollywood Studios. Tower of Terror is only 40 minutes. Rock and Roller Coaster is not listed today, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm not either. Um, and then over here, we have Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. 55 minutes. That's not bad. Not bad at all. You want to do that one? Okay, let's go. It is a cold day today. Breezy. And I think the high is going to be 64. All right, so we were going to grab some coffee at the Starbucks here at the Trolley Car Cafe. Line is looking a little long. So a plan B, we're going to divide and conquer here. So Carrie's going to go grab coffee over at Joffrey's right next to the Tower of Terror ride. And I'm going to get in line at Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Line's not looking bad at all. Nothing can stop us now. I'll tell you how we're gonna make it happen. Nothing can stop us now. I don't know how we're gonna have any trouble. people into the cartoon while I fix this here locomotive? That sounds like a lot of paperwork, Goofy, but sure. Thanks. Be back in a jiffy to pick you all up. Uh -oh. All right, friends, set on in. fact about the ride is that was the last fast pass ride to open oh, before okay. they ended they fast pass yeah I didn't realize that <laughs> I didn't realize that either and also it's the first Mickey and Minnie ride in Disney World oh really yeah really? I know go figure huh. <laughs> well I mean how could you not have a Mickey and Minnie ride that's crazy but, to me I mean, huh. what took them so long though? because this ride was open at Disneyland yes it is a beautiful day here at Hollywood Studios. I'm just noticing that this is this sign is like a Mickey watch, and I, I had one of those when I was a kid. Did you have one? No. Oh, really? But I also noticed at the exact same time <laughs> that that's also a Mickey watch. Yeah, I For some reason, both of us noticed. I know. <laughs> just the <laughs> direction. all the times we've been here. Yeah, I know. That's funny, isn't it? It is funny. Well, it's 12 o'clock, says Mickey. There we go. Mickey's hands. 12 o'clock. It's the Mickey hands. It's time for lunch. 
Let's go check out some merch in Mickey's of Hollywood before we go to our lunch reservation. Sounds good. We got these glasses for Gracie yesterday at the um, Boys and Girls Club thrift shop in Winter Park. And we got them for 50 cents. <laughs> so now I want to know what they're selling them for. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> they were like brand new condition. I like this Disney lounge fly. Nice. At some point, I you know you can get a Disney lounge fly, but you know where you're going to get it? Where? The Disney outlet store across right, exactly. from Disney Springs. I'm so, I feel like it would just be more fun to me if we got like a good deal on it. And I've wanted one for a while. It, it I is expensive. Because I was like, it is expensive. It just, yeah, it just seems like. I mean, I, I can't justify it personally, yeah. but I understand why people do buy them. They are. It's a nice quality They are very bag, nice. And they're very good quality. Cute. Yeah. I love the sign behind the register here. It's really, I don't know, it's a nice design. That's a really thick sweatshirt. Something we need today, actually. Yeah, you could use one. <laughs> $69.99. It's embroidered, so it's nice. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. They have a huge selection of hats here. Oh, yeah. Look at <laughs> Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, that's neat. I have not seen that one yet. No, this is new. I like the Wilderness Explorer hats. Yeah, These are cool. That movie kind of has my heart. The Four Parks. That's a nice like embroidered that. hat. That's the theming this year, the Four Parks. And the embroidery. Look at this one, Seth. You've got Drum Major Mickey, all the Mickeys. That is cool. Steamboat Willie. And this one, I know I've seen that. I'm trying to think of what movie that one's from. Uh, there was a drum major Mickey shirt that we saw, and I didn't get it, and now I can't find it. So I guess the lesson here is if you see something that you really like, Buy you it. should snag it up because yeah. I feel like things don't last very long. Another thing that I've been looking for is a custom-fitted hat, like a oh. baseball hat. Yeah. I found one at the Polynesian like five years ago, and, and I haven't seen since. one since. I know. I'm so glad I, I got it while I could, but yeah. like it's wearing out. I yeah. need another one. Yeah, you do. So if you guys ever see a custom fitted hat in Disney, let me know. These both look like new ones. Oh, that's cool. Spring Break I like 2024, that. that's really cute. And then this Tinkerbell one, I like that a lot. This is a cool one. Oh yeah. Oh, they got the goat on Thunder Mountain. That's really cute. And this would be the one I would buy if I was gonna buy one. That's this is so cute. cool. I like that a lot. Cause it's like, all I can think is, the, that's the Polynesian chairs right there. Exactly. <laughs> okay, Had it in there too, huh? Yeah. Nice. Hmm. hmm. There you go. How much? <laughs> Let's see. 88. 88. Plus our discount. Right. Do you wait? Do you buy it now? You know what I mean? Do you take the gamble and see if you can find a leader at the, the discount? I know. We have to take our own advice here, right? I know. I'm going to wait. Yeah, let's think about it. Let's I think can about be it. patient. We have, we have at least a day. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you merch, shirt, Some cool water bottles here. This Tiana-inspired doll. Those Fancy. are eye-catching wow, designs. Wow, these are nice. I feel like this would be like a collectible situation. Yeah, not, I feel like you not... can't really open this. <laughs> it's too it's nice. It's too pretty. <laughs> I love these plush babies. These are so cute. Oh, new stitch shirt. That is fun. This is cute. Nice bag. That's like a leather patch. That's, oh, that's nice. $59.99. Okay, so it's got the, like the laptop sleeve situation. Look at the stitch hat. This is so cool. That he is... clawed at it. On <laughs> the back too. That's cool. Yeah, I like how they had his name spelled out in scratch marks too. Yeah, me too. So that's a youth size and that's $24.99. Okay, so yesterday we visited the boys and girls thrift shop um, in Winter Park and they receive all of the, um, the lost and found stuff from Disney. And they sell, it's just like buckets of sunglasses and other Disney um, stuff that got left behind. Sometimes there's new merch there. But anyways, we got, we picked up a pair of glasses for for 50 cents. They're like brand new quality. You, you can buy them here in the shop. They're $21.99. Wow. We struck ourselves a deal. So we saved 20 bucks. <laughs> so it's only 30 minutes on um, Alien Swirling Saucers, and we haven't done that one in a long time. We made it. What happened to Buzz's head? Looks like Sid got a hold of him. Out in outer space? It's <laughs> <laughs> a cool fan. That is cool. So we were wondering why we haven't seen the motorcade for a while. It's confirmed that the motorcade is no longer happening because all the characters are doing meet and greets now. Yeah, the in-person, up-close meet and greets. So yeah. We don't really need it anymore. Exactly. So that was like a, a COVID thing yeah. when they weren't doing meet and greets. They had to put them to work doing something else. Purple? My favorite color. Your attention, you ready? Ready. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's winding up. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I feel like I hit somebody. <laughs> Headed over.
over to the Sci-Fi Diner now. Our reservation is coming up in a few minutes. Oh, there's Chip and Dale. You think they can come? All right, here we go. I'm ready. <laughs> Love this mural back here too. This is cool. This couple, this poor lady, getting attacked by an octopus. I hope that's not what's about to happen. I know, I'm a little worried now. <laughs> they didn't tell me about this part. Loving the posters. Yeah. The day the earth stood still. Was that in 2020? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's like a really scary picture. Yeah, it is. That's Boy. super creepy. Looks like the Tower of Terror. Here, here we go, our table's ready. Oh, wow, this is cool. Oh, wow. And I, we apologize in advance, guys, the lighting is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I feel but, like I'm gonna, like, uh, holding the flashlight under yeah, the chair telling yeah. spooky stories. <laughs> exactly, maybe we should sell a spooky story. Maybe that's the whole feel, remember? Yeah. All those scary signs. That's true. Maybe that's the thing, that, you know? Be. The up lighting, it's supposed yeah. to make it look scary. Yeah, also, you know, great for your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. So I just asked the, the server and yeah, so these are mostly just previews. They show some commercials, the 50s era. So I was under the impression they would show a full movie, but it makes sense because yeah. like people, people come in at different times. Yeah. yeah, so I was wondering how they would work that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the kids would love this. So they also have these little speakers that are supposed to be like the call buttons and speakers they had at the drive-in so back cool. in the day. Those look like the real deal. Yeah. I wonder if they are. They also have these outdoor patio sets. So I think you could sit at these ones if you want. This is bigger in here than I, I thought it would yeah, be. It is. It's a lot of seating. Also the ceilings are huge. This is so cool. I like how it like, looks like real shrubbery on the sides. Yeah, I know. And each one of the cars has a separate license plate. This one says New Mexico. This is where the kitchen is, in the back. So cool. Yeah. It's a snack bar, a galaxy of taste right. treats. Taste treats, Tasty, interesting. Right? Tasty, right? Oh, oh, taste. Oh, there's taste, well, it's interesting. Huh. <laughs> yeah, taste right, treats. So Here are the non-alcoholic specialties. Here are the milkshakes, Carrie, that you've been talking about pretty much all day. <laughs> <laughs> and here are the appetizers. And here are the entrees. You got the barbecue burger, American burger, film burger, a banh mi. Ooh, that sounded pretty good. Chicken salad, grilled chicken, pesto, penne. All right, we have some specialty cocktails. Orbiting Oreos, that sounds interesting. Oreo shake mixed with Mozart. Chocolate liqueur, I've never heard of that before. And you have your wine selection. Sangria. And here are the craft beers. We have some more beers here. For appetizers, we're going to order the black garlic Caesar salad, which is petite romaine lettuce and grilled artichoke hearts, chopped applewood smoked bacon, and shaved parmesan topped with a house made black garlic Caesar dressing and served with toasted garlic crostini, and that's $11. So we have the Caesar salad here. This, this looks uh, a little different. Yeah. It's not like a chopped salad situation. It's no, more, yeah. uh, you know, you got chunks of romaine in there. Yeah, it looks really good though. Kind of like the Steakhouse 71 version. Yeah. De what do you call it? Deconstructed. Yeah. yeah. It's very good. Yeah. I'm liking it. I it's like a good it a start lot. to the meal, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Get your health food in first. Yeah. And then get you can your eat whatever greens. you want. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get the Bon Me burger. It's grilled house made pork patty topped with roast pork belly, pickled vegetables, cucumber, herbs, and sriracha aioli. This sounds so good. And that's $23. I'm gonna get the drive-in barbecue burger, our signature blend of beef and house-made seasoning served on a brioche bun topped with nine-hour smoked pork, bourbon bacon jam, cheddar, lettuce, and barbecue sauce, and that's $25. And I also ordered the dairy-free Oreo milkshake, and those are $7.25. That's a good dairy-free shake. It? Yeah, you are not missing anything if you're doing the dairy-free shake. The onion rings have arrived. <laughs> Looking good, Carrie. Thank you. We have a picture from our honeymoon we doing this actually. <laughs> Not much that's has right, changed. That's right. That's 20, 20 years ago. Everything's Almost the same. Three. Yeah, here, you want one? Sure. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to onion rings. And 20 yeah. and more 20 years. years. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Those are really good. Yep. It's extra crunchy. Mm. They're really good. 
You can substitute them out for your fries if you want, but he gave me both. All right, here's my pork banh mi. This is looking really good. You have your big old pork patty there, pork belly. Man, this roll looks really good too. Here's the barbecue burger. This looks amazing. The pulled pork on there, barbecue sauce, cheese, beef patty. Um, let's not get too soggy or anything. It's holding up nicely. Here we go. Cheers. <laughs> that was good. I have to say, in terms of atmosphere, that's an A+. Plus. That is a lot of fun. I can see why it's so hard to get reservations there. Yeah. It all makes sense. The only tricky part about it is it's dark and that you don't have a ton of like table space to eat. So. You can't really see your food, but yeah, it's um, a, little, a little weird. <laughs> it's like backlit. Your food is backlit. You yeah. Know? The food was really good. They make really good burgers. The fries are good. The onion rings were excellent. And that dairy free shake was top notch. Like that was very good. Yeah. If you have a dairy allergy or you're just looking to steer clear of dairy, yeah, <laughs> you're not missing anything on that one. So I would get that again for sure. I know the boys would sure. love that. Yeah. So my meal was was good it, it was good it was definitely a different banh mi than what i've had in the past yeah um i, I don't think i've ever had ground a ground pork patty mm -hmm. so that was that was interesting that was good and, and uh, i loved the the pork belly on top the only thing i noticed that some of the pork belly was a little tough it's mm -hmm. almost like they overcooked it you know you know you know how you like the pork belly you have the fat and then you have like the meat part yeah. so the meat part was was a little bit hard to chew okay, so, so you had more, more thing. meat than fat like yeah i would one. say there's more yeah. meat than fat which is probably not the worst yeah. thing. <laughs> but it just it did tend to be a little tougher the flavors i thought the flavors were good um i know you tried a bite of it you said it was a little bit on the sour side yeah it just had a different kind of because of the uh, was it pickled vegetables yeah. on it yeah so it was like different than what it was different you know what i guess for a banh mi maybe that's on par I exactly and um the aioli sauce that they put was very good uh that actually made the whole sandwich right there that was delicious yeah. the, the only thing they they did wrong was put it on the bottom so it made the bottom roll really soggy so it was hard to eat the fries were just okay for me i'm they're like more like of a bigger, fan they're bigger like yeah. almost like a steak fry it's a Correct. Thicker, thicker fry so if you like thicker fries you're in luck but um the onion rings however those were amazing those are the best onion rings yeah. i think i've ever had <laughs> really know, seriously the onion rings were amazing yeah and my burger was excellent it, they cooked it perfectly it could have been like seasoned a little more it was the only thing um but I liked that they put the lettuce on the bottom, so I didn't have any issues with sogginess on my burger. It came out great. Um, okay. The cheese was good, bacon, and it had that like, um, sorry, not that it was the bacon jam that they had on there that really made it like pretty special. Yeah. That, that gave it a really good flavor. But I would say, yeah, that's a great burger. Um, overall, it's just, it's a really fun experience. Uh, like we said, we want to go back and like take the kids there and really just take it all in, not like necessarily shooting video, you yeah. know, and get like the full, full ambiance but it's fun it's definitely a fun place it's cool it's dark you walk out you need your sunglasses because you were like <laughs> it's so dark in there but yeah i liked it a lot <laughs> our server was very good jose yes. he was great very helpful very helpful yeah. very friendly um and oh also the discounts annual pass dvc is what they accept mm -hmm. uh, i'm not sure about the chase card i'm assuming they they do because most restaurants in disney do accept that disney chase visa discount um but I, I learned that you can get, I have a, a credit card that has more of a, it's a higher, higher payback, cash back. Oh. So I use that in conjunction with the DVC or annual pass Oh, discount. okay, so you're better off using that. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I thought it was great. I'd definitely come back. Yeah, definitely. Great experience. Um, and that's it. Yeah. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Yes, thanks for joining us. And Hopefully we, it's helpful in making decisions for your next trip. Exactly. And mm -hmm. yeah, um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.